Hey guys, welcome back to RIP Superchargers and thanks for stopping by. So, very interesting thing today, we're just doing a little bit of uh, maintenance to the RAM. As you know, this RAM has been in testing for quite some time and a lot of people have been very patiently waiting for us to release this particular system. What's unique about this RAM is that it's powered by a 3.6 liter Pentastar. It is a Rebel, it did come uh, with factory options. Uh, since you've seen it last, we just added a little bit of uh, wheel and tire to it. But we're doing an oil change to it, which is sort of normal maintenance. Right now, the RAM has about 9,800 miles on it, and they're all uh, supercharged. And we have a rip catch can in the vehicle. So what I wanted to demonstrate to you was what we can catch in about 7,000 miles worth of, uh, of driving. Now, it's mixed temperature. We got summer, we got spring, and now we're going into fall, which is very damp. Uh, I'm holding it very carefully because, believe it or not, it's very full. Uh, and I just wanted to show you what it is in this glass here uh, that we've caught. This is not staged in any way. This is what we've caught uh, in 7,000 miles, this mur murk. Now, we're filtering this as well in the catch can, but this is very liquidy, it's very milky, and it's basically condensation, water, and blow-by. Uh, now, we're not constantly floored with the with the with the ram you're not always going in like 7000 rpms you know to 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 get the power out of the vehicle most of the time this vehicle is just driving in traffic at about 70 miles an hour and uh you know floating between 1800 rpm and let's say 3200 rpm uh for passing or just driving along generally this vehicle is in i drive it so i'm enjoying about 18 18 and a half miles per gallon at its worst i would get let's say 16 to uh but this is actually all being filtered by the catch can so it's pretty important to know that a product like this is saving all this gunk from going into the intake runner which costs you power by um by let's say spraying this stuff and, and lowering the octane and gumming up the valves naturally all that dirt uh, you know, that's going into the throttle body and, and mucking that up and, uh, and, and uh, fouling up the valves and the top of the pistons. Uh, and, and as you know, you know, it can go through the rest of the, the uh, combustion cycle as well. So, rip catch can, doing its job right there. Cheers.